In today's video, we're opening up the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Amazing Defenders. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. In this video, I have two boxes of the new set, Amazing Defenders. This set doesn't release until this coming Friday, so it's a few days early that we're actually getting to open this up, but this set isn't looking so hot. It's called Amazing Defenders, but from what I've seen online so far about the set and what I've looked over it, it should probably be called Atrocious Defenders. That might be a little strong, but so far this set isn't looking too great. We're starting off 2023 on kind of an iffy note. The cards that I am excited for though are Card Trooper Collector Rare, because this is a Collector Rare set. There's 15 different Collector Rares inside. There's three new archetypes. The archetypes don't seem to be hitting that hard, but I'm excited about the Card Trooper. I think there's a one for one Collector Rare. That's not a bad upgrade as well, but we're really reaching this Time. I guess if we're going to do a live stream, we're going to go for the card trooper because that's really the only card I care about in this entire set. Like, yeah, normally we have multiple options, like, but this time not so good. So let's just hop into the opening. The giveaway for this video, all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this new set. You don't have to just say it's bad. If you think it's good, let me know because I would like to know what you like about it. Personally, I'm not super excited about it and I don't think a lot of people are. So we've had a lot of good sets recently. So eventually you're going to have a dud, right? But I personally have said this many times. I don't really like the collector rare makeups of these sets. I think it's not that I don't like collector rares, the rarity. I do not like how we get, you know, three ultras in a box. And then that's basically it unless you get a collector rare. So you basically have 21 packs where it's just a guaranteed super. And it's just not that fun to open for that reason. And then the value just doesn't really hold up for these boxes unless the sets are crazy. Cause even some of the good sets don't hold up very well and they lose a lot of value as you go. So I think these could use a revamp. I don't know if you're watching Konami, that's just kind of what I'm thinking. I know I'm not the end all be all. You shouldn't listen to everything I say, but I think a lot of people would agree that these sets are a little bit iffy and not as fun to open, not as good for your value stuff like that. All right, but let's not speak too soon. Let's actually open the packs and see what we can get. If we do get that card trooper, that'd be pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited to uh, potentially pull that. Um, other than that, you know, as I said, not too much, but so Rescue Ace is one of the new ones. I actually opened, uh, or at least I didn't open any of this yet, but I checked out some of the openings from all the sponsored Konami channels on my Twitch stream. So go check me out on Twitch if you guys want to see that. We've been doing a ton of different stuff. We've been doing Pokemon openings, reviewing new Yu-Gi-Oh sets, uh, playing Pokemon, stuff like that. So we're doing a bunch of different stuff. And I saw all these cards or a little bit of these cards beforehand and i'm honestly a big fan of the artwork of these rescue ace cards but i don't think they're supposed to be very good so maybe they'll become collectible who knows machine dupe is now in here oh there's a ruxin special right to the ultra rare so there's one of our three ultra rares in the box this is a rescue ace card it's a it's basically a fire hydrant which i think this is pretty creative i'm actually a fan of this and i guess look here's the thing here on this channel, we don't have to play everything. We don't really even play that much in terms of actual Yu-Gi-Oh. So I feel like we can just appreciate the artwork and that that maybe will bump up this set a little bit for me because I personally think this is a cool card. You could say it's a little, you know, dorky, gimmicky. It's just a fire hydrant. But look, that's Pokemon's been doing that for years. And look at them. They're doing fine. I, I actually like it. I think it's pretty cool. We're not going to do a pack trick on this. This is a new opening. We're just going to go through it. There's a a pearly plump okay so if you don't get it in the third slot in the pack you know it's the fifth slot and that's that's gonna be a hit uh mikano and uh there's a card trooper so this card trooper is uh you know just the rare option is good if you're playing edison but the collector rare is obviously a nice hit so make sure you enter the giveaway if you guys do want to win these because you guys can win every single card i've been announcing giveaways i've been pretty caught up for the most part so go check out the community tab if you haven't seen that check if you won because a bunch of people haven't claimed their stuff you guys have been a lot better at claiming them recently but still some available got a typhlosion at some point i think i'm gonna do a uh, re giveaway of most of the stuff I have. There's a pearly already another ultra rare. So we've pulled two of the three ultra rares from one box. Uh, maybe we'll mix these up a little bit. Okay, next pack, amazing defenders. Let's see, if we can get preparation rights and also not a bad reprint, pretty solid. This card was actually like one of the value cards in dual overload when, when it first came out. Roland, that's from uh, another ultra. We're going to pull all the ultras in the very beginning. All right, another ultra, which at this point, it doesn't really matter because, okay, so those are the pearly. This is another of the new archetype. It's basically the EV archetype, you know, of Pokemon or the Yu-Gi-Oh EV, I should say. The cute cards, basically. So if you're a fan of those, you might be a fan of uh, the pearly archetype. There's a Mortal Phoenix gear for you. This isn't bad either because this was in Toon Chaos, but it feels like they're just hitting Toon Chaos cards. This was in Dawn of Majesty. Originally, it was a bad card. It wasn't even a dollar in Hollow, so I don't think it's going to be that great. It basically took a lot of Dawn of majesty and tune chaos cards and reprinted them and those cards already are not really that crazy so rescue ace modern i think this is a cool looking transformer card 
Looks like a Transformer. I mean, there's not much else to say about that, but it does look cool. Hidden Armory, Gizmech Orochi. Orochi's not bad either. Pretty solid reprint and rare. Because you guys already know this, but the rares in here are essentially commons because they come in at, you know every slot besides the hollow. So it's basically a common reprint. You just have the actual you know silver letters on the top but that's the only difference between these and commons rhoda another reprint we looked at this on twitch and that card has like 30 prints and like 10 of i think maybe i've been 12 of them are commons. so we really did not need that we didn't need that print at all i sold one of the big ones okay so we can go from a card we didn't need this is probably a decent card it already was i think it's a super rare but it was still a four dollar super so that'll make it a little bit more accessible another card trooper gives him Orochi. so you know, do do what you will. These are kind of the things we talked about on Twitch. To, I'm a little bit more prepared because normally I just go in completely blind, expertly happiness. But we spent like an hour going through all the openings and checking out all the new cards that were revealed in the openings for uh, the Konami channels. And they also had like sent a couple of them, like five or six collector rares. So we actually got to see them even if people didn't pull them. They probably did that because uh, they didn't want, you know, the cards to be completely unknown. Preparation of rights, Roland. I don't actually know why, because this set isn't great. So maybe they should probably want them to be unknown. So we think there's better stuff in there. I don't know. I don't know why they did it. I'm glad they did it, though. So we at least have an idea of what we're buying. Actually, probably a good thing uh, for us that they did that. We got a noir. We got the double edged sword, pearly delicious sprites blessing. And OK, sprites blessing just brings me back to uh, using that with the cyber angels and the uh, whatever the uh, the fairy was called, the dragon thing that took the place of when, when cyber angel got limited. I think there's a fire engine. So we got a full on fire engine. This is literally a transformers archetype. I like them, though. They're cool. Miki, I know we got pearly yeep and Makano Kagura. So far, we've pulled three ultras right off the bat. I really don't know like what's going to be money here. Phoenix Gear Freak, pretty cool. We got a Roland. We'll have stuff popping up on the screen, but of course that's going to be way early prices. So as I say in all of these like videos where I open it before like the Friday it releases, because Friday is the day when everyone on, you know, in the world can post on TCG player. Before that, you got to have like a registered business and stuff like that and all this. I think you have to be maybe Konami like official or something. No, I don't remember what it is, but basically it's, there's a restriction to what you could post uh, until your Friday. So I can't post on there until Friday. So me and you know people that actually do this for a job and then like all the normal people like you guys you open up a box you want to sell on tcg player uh you guys can't post until friday either so as soon as friday rolls around everybody's like bing 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 listing all their stuff and it goes from five listings to you know 150 and so the the price goes way down usually occasionally something will be so popular or so good people think it's undervalued that they buy all of them and then there's none left there's an alert that's an ultra rare very nice then uh you know the, the price goes up that's like one probably one card per set maximum and that's probably not even every set so it's pretty unlikely there's another is sold pretty solid we want to pull as many of those as possible uh sprites blessing and a makako i don't know how i just said that but makanko is that how you say that yeah i don't think the first way i said it was right but we'll, we'll do our best rescue ace but basically, um, what was I going to say about that? I was going to say something about what we were talking about. And then I got distracted by how I pronounced that card. Oh, yes. I was thinking about these collector sets. And if you guys remember Ancient Guardians, that's down at like a $35 booster box, maybe 30 like for the whole box. And people were speculating, OK, this seems like maybe this could be even worse than that, because at least in there, there was like Skullmeister, Pankertops. There's a couple of decent CRs people were looking for. And this one, if these archetypes don't pan out, most of the collector rares are archetype you know, based. And if the archetypes aren't good, then the collector rares aren't going to be money. And that means there'll be really nothing to chase for. This could go down to like a $30 box potentially. Who knows? So it, they are pretty expensive uh, compared to what people speculate they might be. But you never really know. Like maybe tier elements gets banned and some of these are like actually decent archetypes because it's hard to really know right now because everyone's just playing the same deck. Uh, I'm not too far into the meta, but I knew, do know it is dominating the meta. And it's kind of hard to play another deck like a rogue deck or something like that when it's one specific deck just dominating everything. So we'll have to see what happens after that. If you do want to buy some, I have a link with Sassy Auto. I have amazing rucks and 5% off. Um, but as you guys have heard, I don't think it's a great set. There's a hollow one for one super rare. This also has the collector rare as well, but that's that's a good hit right there. Double edged sword, Makanko, Perlier, and the extinguished. So is extinguished, I guess, part of the uh, rescue ace. I, that seems like a rescue ace kind of thing because they're like fire hydrants and stuff. Contain, yeah, this has to be rescue ace, yeah. Rescue Ace Fire Attacker. I mean, look at that. That's cool. That's just a cool artwork. It's like very uh, Star Wars-y or something like that. Oh, 
yes! We got a collector rare, and that's a pretty good one, actually. Gizmek Orochi, the Serpentron Sky Slasher. At least it's like somewhat, it's not really generic, but you know, it can be used in a couple of different decks. So this is actually kind of a cool hit. This is pretty solid. So if you're gonna pull something, you know, might as well pull a cool collector rare. Solid pull. I kind of even forgot we could pull collector rares because we, you know, pulled all our ultras at the beginning. I was like, ah, it's all supers now, but that's a sick card. Well, I guess we're definitely going to do a live stream. I was considering, it's like, do I want to do one? And I was like, of course we're going to do one. Why wouldn't we? Um, we're probably going to do one. Sir, I mean, we're definitely going for the card trooper. I just hope it doesn't turn into another scapegoat situation where I open seven cases for a $15 card. I think the card's $15 now. So it's like I spent all that money, you know, it just hurts. It just hurts when the card, like, at least when I couldn't pull, like, uh, you know, the Stardust, it was still a $600 card when I did pull it. It's like, sure, I bought 13 cases and lost a ton of money, but at least it was, you know, valuable at the end. I pulled a scapegoat, and I'm just like, oh, thank goodness it's over. I'm free. I'm finally free of this card. I did grade that card, by the way, so hopefully we'll get that back soon. I'm excited about that. Uh, Stray Pearly, we've got the Rescue Fire Ace, Overlay Region, the Sword, Reflection, Happiness, and Limiter Removal. This is quite the interesting set, because it's been a while since we've had a set that I wasn't that excited about. I think it was probably Hidden Arsenal 1, which I was very not so excited about. I was like, bleh, this is gross. Rescue Ace Hydrant. There's an Ultra Rare. Another one of those. We've got the same card. All right. Be amazing. Don't be atrocious. I'm sorry about that intro, Amazing Defenders. I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. Just like, Pretend I didn't do it. Give me another collector rare. I mean, you already gave me one, so I guess you did, couldn't hear me. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to say that to you guys. All right, we got the Cantane. Hooray. I mean, I, the thing is, I don't really expect every set to be a banger because, like, sure, maybe it could be. It is difficult to have this many releases a year because we do have quite a few releases and them all to be, like, really awesome. However, I do kind of want them to not just be awful, and this seems like it could be going that way. But when you're creating new archetypes, I don't know how you create a new archetype. It really is kind of a, the mystery of TCGs. How do you continue to create new cards that are better, but not too much better, that they don't like outweigh all the old cards, but they also aren't like too good, that they like just dominate the meta. So, and then it makes it so the next time you do it, you don't have to create like way better cards and then eventually the card game just goes crazy. These are the same cards. We're pulling the same ultras. All right, so far two fire fire hydrants. We've got two alerts and then two of these. So are we going to pull these again? Imagine if we get duplicate boxes. That would be super weird. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, it's just it's a difficult task to create trading cards. Um, I respect the people that are grinding and trying to figure it out you know, make not only collectible cards, but also like playable cards and then like have the right rarities. Like it is a hard job. I'll give them that. It's not like the easiest thing ever. Like some people make it out to be. So I get it. I know sometimes there's going to be more of a dud product, which I think may or may not be this one. Um, I'm just hoping that, you know, if you have a dud product, you bounce back the next time. Have a great one. So we're hoping for that next time. We got an impulse rescue ace. What is this one? He's got an ax. So they're, they're all firefighters, basically. Reborn. At first when I did, I thought it was just like other ones, but it seems like they're all firefighters. Like, yeah. So that's cool. I mean, everybody likes firefighters, right? Got the stray uh, pearly. We got the uh, Mikanko hidden armory and pearly happiness and a card trooper. Pretty sick. We're down the last few packs. We've pulled one collector rare. No, we've pulled six ultras. That means we pulled all our ultras, right? Yeah. Okay. So we did have a little. Okay. Raynaud's not a bad super rare. Uh, card trooper and sacred skull. So we have officially pulled all our ultras unless there's like a bonus. Can we get a collector rare to end this off? Let's see. Pearly happiness. Nice. Okay, a few left. Gotta believe. Amazing defenders. We can do this. Immortal Phoenix Gear Free. Not bad. I don't know like what those supers are going to be valued at because the supers are usually not money in these sets because you get them so often. But maybe if it's like the big card, maybe it is. There's an impulse. I do really like the rescue ace. Like, I think they look cool. I just do. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? What do you think about the archetypes? Not just how they play, but how they look. You know, let me know about the rescue ace. How do you feel about them? You think they're too cheesy? You think they're, you know, what do you think about the artwork? I don't know. Give me some feedback on that. Let's see. You guys can win all this stuff. Whoa. The card was dinged up. Check that out. Those corners, not great. And then we got the, uh, the, the Makanko. I don't know much about them. I think that that was the, the archetype that people said at least had a chance of being decent. As you guys know, I don't play too much, so I'm just going off what people have said on that on that regard. Uh, so maybe they will be. Who knows? You can't say it's completely bad, I guess, because they I mean, the, even these like people are going to like them because they're cute. You know, they got they got cute cards on them. So I will say on the artwork department, I think they've done pretty well on these new archetypes. So we'll give them that. We got a Raynaud. Cool. And our final pack. Let's go. Amazing Defenders. Was it Atrocious Defenders or was it Amazing Defenders? Let me know in the comments. I think Atrocious is probably a strong word in my opinion. I don't think they're Atrocious, but 
We got a preparation of rights and pearly happiness, but definitely not very good. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, and Unatai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.